So there's this thing that you can do for five minutes, only five minutes before bed every single day. And this is going to speed up your manifestation like never before. And I have tried a lot of manifestation techniques. And this one, nice, simple, and effective. So in this video, I want to share with you this powerful, powerful, powerful technique on what you can do for the five minutes before you fall asleep. Actually, you can do this for less than five minutes, but we're going to put five minutes just to be sure. And what happens is a lot of people I see, they try this and try that and, and do this and do that when it comes to the law of attraction and manifestation. And the more they try and do and things are not happening, what happens is that they get frustrated. They get annoyed. Why is it not coming yet? Why do I not see it? It must not be real. I must be crazy. But the thing is, they're missing this one specific technique. Because let me ask you something. How many times is it that you wake up and you're like, I need to get into my morning routine? <laughs> Anyone here who has a morning routine? Well, the thing is, we don't think about the night routine. The night routine is actually so important. Why want to get into it on what it actually means for our mind, what it actually means for our subconscious, what it actually means for our manifestation. And if guys, if you guys are new here, hey, my name is Tina. I am here every single day sending you so much love, so much positivity. We post about tarot, we post about spirituality, manifestation to guide you into the path of true alignment. If you guys are vibing with the energy, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to be a part of our crew 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 so this special technique that you can only do for that you do for only five minutes during the night what actually this does is that it speeds up your manifestation and why i say that is because we have our conscious mind and we have our subconscious mind our conscious mind is only 10 percent but our subconscious mind is 90 percent and what actually that means is that our conscious mind is us being aware of what we are doing consciously. But our subconscious mind is the thing that goes on autopilot. And now what this really means for you is that before you go to bed, if you do this thing for five minutes, just five minutes, what it actually does is that it locks into your subconscious mind. Because when you are actually sleeping, your subconscious mind is taking over, is on its full force. And what that does is that it makes your manifestation come through a lot, a lot quicker. And what it is that you need to know is that in life, we need to understand that the present moment is all there is. We want to be able to bring that future version, that future manifestation into the present. But if we disregard the present moment, we are missing a big key formula on actually how to manifest with ease. So this is what you do, okay? So the first thing that I want to do is make sure when you're in bed, get very comfortable get very comfortable okay and then what you're going to do is you want to close your eyes not sleeping yet okay make sure you are not sleeping yet you want to be able to bring forth the things that you are grateful for and i know gratitude okay we hear this a lot but the thing is this is only the first step the first step in this formula is that you have to activate gratitude there's a saying what you appreciate appreciates okay what you appreciate appreciates so this is to saying that i honor what i have now dear universe i honor what i have now i'm grateful for what i have now so that puts you in the present moment okay and then the second step that we're going to do over here this is very simple and how this works is that you bring the future into the present okay you're taking that manifestation and leap it right into the present moment you anchor it in and how you can actually do that is very simple what you do is that you visualize you want to be able to visualize that future version of you doing the thing that you are looking to manifest experience that thing that you are manifesting so
So for instance, some of you guys can be manifesting a new Tesla, a new car. What you want to do is that you want to say the things that you are grateful for. Maybe your car that you are grateful for. I'm so grateful for my Honda. Okay. Maybe it's not my Tesla, but it's something that I'm so grateful for. You know, it takes me to where I need to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you want to start visualizing that you are driving your new car, your dream car. How does it feel? To be sitting in that car, does it make you smile? Does it make you go like yippee? <laughs> How does it make you feel? And this is the key, by the way. Okay. And the step number two cannot be complete without this emotions. Okay. So if you guys are taking note, I want you guys to write this down. Emotions. I must activate my emotions. And what emotions are? Energy in motion, and the energy in motion of your manifestation is bringing. Okay, its motion is taking action. It's moving into this present moment. Okay, so it's like you're shooting that ball, that manifestation in this basket in the present moment. So it's very important that you do this because your emotion is going to help you manifest a lot, a lot quicker as well. Because there's if there's a why, if there's an emotion, it's stronger. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do is that continue to visualize you being in that car. How happy it makes you feel! How amazing! Yes, I've made it. I love this car. And try to notice the details. Wow, this soft leather. Okay, this touch screen. I've always wanted a touch screen on my car, not the knob thingies. Okay, I don't know much about cars. Whatever it is, if you guys, uh, guys are manifesting your soulmate, imagine. Visualize how happy you are when you're with them. They they surprise you with this gift. Wow! Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite candy bar. Play. Only if it's one minute, okay. Only if it's two minutes, it doesn't matter. Visualize it. Bring it in. Feel the emotion because that. Do that alone before you fall asleep has a huge effect. And now you're drifting away to sleep, drifting away to bed with this beautiful manifestation playing on autopilot. Instead of you know, usually we go to bed thinking about, oh my gosh, so stressful. I have so much to do. I am stuck in this job. I have to wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow, okay, or 6 a.m. or something crazy like that. So what happened is that we are playing the same story. So. That's not gonna help us manifest the things that we want, okay? So this is why being in gratitude and then being able to visualize the thing that you do want. We get stuck so much in the past that we replay it over and over again. So I don't know if you are guilty, okay? Who here is guilty about replaying the past before you go to bed? The stresses during the day before you go to bed. The anxiety that to tomorrow that you may not have enough time and you have to wake up early before you go to bed. And I want you guys to realize this because there's so much negative, you know, things that are in our head. But what what about some room for manifestation, for the life of our dreams? So if you try this technique, make sure you guys come back and let me know if this has worked for you. Give this a thumbs up if you got anything from this at all. I would really appreciate it. Comment below and let me know if you guys would like me to share manifestation tips, hacks, and secrets with you here in this channel. And don't forget to also let me know where you guys are tuning in from. It's always so beautiful to know where my international fam are tuning in from. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys so so much, and I'll talk to you soon.